Hey, aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. As you know, I recently got rid of all my other rigs. I'm sticking with Okuma. Okuma has stepped up the game in the past couple of years. They're coming with exceptional rods and reels now. So what I'm gonna use here, this is for my heavy rigs. I got a couple of these. These are the new 13 foot Hawaiian custom Alua rods, which are the GT rods. It has a stainless steel butts on them. So to get ready, this is what this is about. You don't want to do anything in the field and find you're missing something. So I'm getting ready before I go out. What I do is I tie on my, these are my three-way swivels. That's a three out with a two out. So th these are small enough to go through the, the stainless steel helo style guides that are, that are on the rod here. Even the last one, it'll go through the tip. So what I do is I use some tape. Now the tape I'm going to use is electrical vinyl tape. Any brand is fine. Um, I use this one here by Scotch. This is Scotch brand, okay? So what I do is I, I look at the uh, reel seat here. And you know how you turn the knobs to cinch down on your, on your, for your rods here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it right here. You notice I already did this. I already went up and down and I coated it with the um, vinyl tape. So, and the reason why you do this is because a lot of times when you're using your equipment all day, it has a tendency to loosen up. And it's kind of humbug when you cinch down. You loosen up and you cinch down. And, so, and when you start getting things like sand getting in there, it does get kind of humbug. So what I do is I cinch it down to where I think it's going to be very comfortable fit, where it's not going to rattle around. I put the tape around it, and I'm going to do that with both of my units. And this is the first part of getting ready. Okay, another product I use to get ready are fishing butlers. These are elastic tie strap system to keep uh, your rods together. So you just pull it over, push down, that's it. And when you're ready to take it off, see the, the tab here? Put your nail in it, your fingernail, pull it up, comes right back off again. Now this is a 50-50 uh, split, so it's pretty easy to slide it on perfectly, it'll be even on the top and bottom. But the fishing butlers make it a very easy system to transport all your rods. Okay, another item you may want to consider. If you're going out at night and you want to see this rod from a distance, especially when you have a hit, um, if you look at this with your head beams at night, you know, meaning your, your portable light systems, there's nothing reflective on this. So I put on this reflective sheeting is a tape that comes pre-cut at 30 inches. It's uh, a reflective tape, so when you hit it with regular light, it's gonna um, glow. And normally you wanna hit it with UV light to, to make it last. Now this here is, is a 3M tape. So when you cut this and you wrap it around the rod itself, it's gonna hold. You're not gonna need super glue or anything. It's, it's 3M is pretty good stuff. It will hold. So you're gonna see what this is gonna look like afterwards. And this here, this is pretty mean. The camo over here. And there's only one shop I found locally here in Hawaii that sells that, and that's at Brian's Fishing Supply. All right, when I'm going out in the field, I like to use sand spikes. Now this is a very, very long one. This is over four feet long made out of quarter inch steel. This, this is for really holding down your rod in, in the sand no matter what hits. Okay, and the reason why I like this type of length is because in loose sand, if, if you go with a standard length, which is from here maybe to about here, um, that's not enough from here to here in loose sand. And this will have a tendency to pop up when you have a decent hit and there goes your couple hundred dollar rig. This one here, because it's um, so long and it's so thick, I can drive this into the sand and I'll drive it down to about here. And that's more than enough to hold in the loosest sand, all right? So what's the bad thing about this particular model, so you look around the rim. This rim is not beveled, it's straight. So when you drop your rod in it and it's going around the corners, it's gonna leave a ring, uh, which is gonna be the abrasion marks around the base of your rod. You don't want that. So to, to solve this problem, you can get tape, you can round tape over here, but the, the best thing to do for your long-term exposure problems, just get a rounded file, just round it off really slight and then 
sandpaper it and that would get rid of this problem. Now this one here is another long and this one is a luminous spike. It's much lighter, it's quarter inch, but this has been beveled. Look around the edges. See, this one has been specially made and beveled to come this way so you don't have to work at it at all. I also got this at Brian's Fishing Supply, a local shop here that specializes in um, perfection and I kind of like that. So, you notice how it's all beveled and smooth while rubbing my fingers. This is what you want. Now, if you have uh, one of the cheaper models or earlier model that you know, people weren't aware of that, just round it down. You can get a Dremel tool or you can get a rounded file and you can round it down. If you're in a rocky area, you can go with your typical rock spike, okay? And you just stick this into the reef or on, on hard rock, boulders, and it, you know, it's just gonna go in like that. But say for example, you wanna use this in combination where I, if I can get either this or the other one into the rocks, I need something for my safety line because I always attach a safety cord. Now, good example of a good safety cord, something like this here. I just get nylon cord and whatever clips you want. And this here is about 10, 11 feet long. So it's good enough for most places. And if I cannot loop this, say around a tree or a rock, I would drive it a second um, spike and I'll share that one spike for this line with maybe two or three rods. The Hawaiian Custom also comes with the bell holder right here, which is a brass tube. So you can stick your bell in it. That's it, and you're all set. So you can make any design you want. I just cut into squares like this. So, you know, I peeled off the back. This is 3M. This is really, really good tape. So you just... And that's it. That's all you have to do. Hey guys, so look at the difference. If you want to stylize your equipment, it looks so much nicer with the fluorescent wrap. And it's going to tell everybody this is yours, especially if you're on a crowded area. It looks really nice, it really does. And And at night, that's the main thing. You'll be able to pick yours out, especially if you're with other people around. Looks really great. Don't forget, at the end of the day, I always bring my spray bottle. I spray down the reel, the guides, everything. So by the time I get home, it's mostly clean. And then I take it into the shower with the warm water. Helps to permeate a lot of the uh, soap buildup. And I clean the rest there.